Hey, is Piggy here? <laughs> oh, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, good day. <laughs> I'm Dr. Fox 2000, and you are watching the Volcano Eruption live stream. Welcome, everyone, and glad to have you guys on board. And uh, I hope I didn't scare anyone when I did that. I'm just wondering if I woke Piggy up uh, from her slumber. <laughs> anyway, good to see that uh, we've got all kinds of people coming in the uh, uh, channel already, which is really cool. Do appreciate each and every one of you uh, being here. And uh, before we get going, I'm going to mention my usual uh, take a look at your chat box. Make sure it says top chat or live chat. That means you are indeed watching the live uh, stream as it is happening. If you see top chat replay or live chat replay on top of that chat box, that means the stream that you are watching is a recording just like any other video and you will no longer be able to do anything interactively in the chat box, um, but you'll have to, you can still put regular comments down below uh, just like any other video, just so you're aware of it. But remember, those are not interactive. Uh, you're not going to get an immediate response. Uh, I do try to get after my comments, uh, but there are quite a few, so it does take a, a bunch of time, and I'm still trying to catch up on a whole bunch of old ones. So anyway, having said all that, welcome everyone. I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000. I am here in today where it's raining, uh, rainy Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, about... Uh, 7,000 kilometers away from the uh, Cumbre Vieja volcano in La Palma on Canary Islands and uh, about 5,000 kilometers away from the Icelandic one and I think also about uh, 7,000 kilometers away from Kilauea in Hawaii. So I'm uh, a good distance from all of them, not overly worried about any of them uh, for myself, uh, you know, safety-wise and so on. Anyway, uh, welcome to a whole bunch of you that are already in the channel, and uh, I see we do have quite a few people in already. So, first off, I'm going to say uh, good evening to my mods, and I do believe Arizona Snowman is the only one that's in right now, but uh, the other ones may be lurking. Uh, Piggy is also there, uh, as well as Paul Zilla. So, uh, welcome you guys. Glad to have you on board and really appreciate the hard work that you do in the uh, chat. Uh, awesome to see uh, all of you. Okay, so uh, having said that, let's get on with uh, saying hi to a few people. Of course, we got uh, Bobby Joe is back. Welcome, uh, Yvonne Kunkel. Uh, glad to have you back on board. 420 in the house as well. Lucas Snow. Uh, welcome, Lucas, and I see you're the first one in today, uh, which is really cool. Flo Smith is back as well, Sue Hayes, uh, Kevin Haynes, uh, Kristen Williams, Jay Donaldson, uh, Judith Letson, uh, Ronnie Rhino, uh, Lava, London Lava Lout, uh, Manly Williams, uh, DJ Puff, Colin Taylor, Larry Vladika, JT, uh, we got uh, Terry Curry, Long Haired Lava, Wow, all kinds of names. Welcome to each and every one of you. Shield Maidens, Divine, Feminine, Wisdom, and Tarot. Wow, what a name. <laughs> Glad that you're on board, though. And uh, I'm just going to call you Shield Maidens. Uh, how about that? Uh, that's a little easier. Uh, did I say Ronnie Rhino already? Uh, Tom uh, Car uh, Caruso, uh, welcome back. Angel uh, Grams also here. Dennis Ray. Ducky is back in the house. Uh, old Mummy of Hamsters. Boo! Uh, don't be so scary. And uh, yeah, hey, I did uh, do a little bit of setup on my roof today. Uh, for those who were over and had a look at it, uh, uh, that's uh, it's kind of cool. But anyway, we're not here to talk about scary things like Halloween. Uh, John Raper also back, uh, Flo Smith, uh, JT, welcome you guys, Pepper4050 uh, also back, uh, Silicone Avatar also back in the house, 
uh, Mary Hicks, uh, welcome, uh, Duchess of Elements and crew, uh, welcome back, Duchess. Uh, as well as we got Mars 2028 also there, uh, as well as Hank is back, uh, Doug Christopher, uh, we got Old Mummy of Hamsters, uh, Grandma B, I don't know if I mentioned you, but welcome back. Uh, Charlotte, uh, Dippy is also here. And uh, let's see, now we're getting some repeats here. Denzel, also uh, back. Uh, welcome, you guys. All of you uh, really do appreciate having you in here. Did I say Dennis Ray already? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Uh, online game, uh, game player, welcome back. Uh, One Fish also back in the house. Uh, London Lava Lout, I think we got you already. Uh, Speedy Dormouse, there we go, and Chuckster. Uh, welcome, you guys. Uh, glad to have you back here. Uh, Julie, Judy McClelland, uh, welcome. And uh, I think I might have said you twice now. Ah, it happens. It happens. If I say you two or three times, hey, just feel good about it. It's all good. Anyway, I'm going up further to uh, try to uh, see. Did I say Jim Strickland? Uh, if not, I did now. Um, and I think that's about it at the top of the ladder. Let's get back down to the bottom. And uh, I do know some others popped in here. James Bong, Rebecca Patterson, Anita Assad, Craig Thor. Uh, welcome all you guys. Glad to see you here. Uh, Peter Lunk and Gloria and uh, let's see. Who else did I miss there? I got uh, those guys. Okay. I got most of those on the bottom. Um... Yeah, I think I got most of you. Anyway, um, oh, online gaming throws in a 20 or 200, whatever that is. Nice voice. Why, thank you very much. Um, that goes right along with the good looks, just to let you know, online gamer <laughs> or online game player. My apologies. Uh, thank you. I, I'm not exactly sure what currency that is, but uh, I'm sure it, uh, by the color it's somewhere between... Uh, uh, I guess uh, somewhere around 10 or $20 or something. Anyway, do really appreciate that awesome super chat. And uh, all super chats are really nice. We do appreciate them. And just to let you guys know, yes, we do not actually um, monetize this stream. So the only support I get is from uh, you uh, with the super chats. So uh, anyway, nobody is obligated to do any of that. I'd rather see you hit that like button that is more important for me to keep the ratings up and uh, things will happen in the future and, and uh, as the channel grows. Anyway, Mr. Mangok, uh, welcome. And let's see, who else did I miss? Uh, I think, oh, uh, Terrace uh, Knapp, uh, welcome as well there. Uh, Mark LaBarbecue and who else? Uh, just going through a few more here. Uh, I think I got flow already. Teresa also back in the house. Good, uh, good that you made it over here, Teresa. Uh, Stefan uh, er Erhart, uh, welcome back or welcome or welcome back. I'm not sure, but anyway, nice to have you here. Uh, Karen also back in the channel, and uh, let's see, uh, Stefan Begent, if I said it right. <laughs> uh, thanks, Stefan. Uh, or we we'll just call you Steve. Oh uh, boy, I don't want to cause problems. But anyway, I hope I got it right. Uh, did I mention Charlotte's also here? Uh, okay, uh, Kristen Williams. Uh, Ju yeah, Judith, I got already. So, all right, uh, most of you guys uh, are named uh, Barbara um, Visser. Uh, welcome. Or Vi uh, uh, is it Visser or Weiser? Uh, Chari also back here. Guten Abend. And uh, uh, let's see. What else we got? And just to uh, kind of throw this out here, we don't mind people saying, you know, hello or whatever in a different language. Um, but let's carry on in, uh, in the English language because that works best for all of us to be able to communicate. So um, as it is in the rules down below, uh, we try to keep the um, the chat in English, and like I said, I don't mind the occasional hola or guten abend or or bonjour or bonsoir, that kind of thing. Now um, that's not a big deal. It's when uh, you're trying to get things across to everyone uh, in a different language. We prefer that you actually do it in uh, 
uh, English okay so if uh, if you have trouble please use Google Translate it does a very good job I see a few more people popped in um, barbarian Pamela Moncure and uh, let's see I got Rebecca earlier there so uh, pretty good to see everyone oh hands made it over here as well uh, Kerry uh, also back as well uh, good to see all of you guys brutal Avenger uh, barbarian and uh, I think uh, might have mentioned them already so uh, cool to have you guys all in here please don't forget to hit that like button and uh, let's go through the screens real quick uh, top two screens of course are uh, two different angles of the volcano and uh, this is uh, Cumbre Vieja volcano in La Palma in the Canary Islands uh, just off the uh, northwestern uh, coast of Africa it is a possession of Spain and uh, we will get a little bit more into that maybe later on I'm not here to talk about politics or who owns it um, but we will talk a little bit more about uh, things that are looking a little bit more gloomy and doomy <laughs> for lack of better words uh, we're gonna get to that about um, tsunamis and things <laughs> <laughs> um, seems uh, see, seems there's there's hints there but we will talk about that and later okay so top two are those two different angles of uh, uh, Cumbre Vieja the bottom left screen of course is uh, the lava flow that is happening now and man the, it is incredible that it is pouring in the direction that it is it is definitely on the north side of the original stream um, it also went around the north side of that little volcano that was sitting right at the coast we will look at that in the maps a little bit later and by the way we do have a nice new feature in the maps and uh, if you guys uh, go to this uh, and I will actually uh, type it in here uh, and uh, get that going for you so you can see and uh, when you type in La Palma 3d just the way I just did now uh, the link will come up you don't need to you can just use the link that's going to come up right away and uh, what you will find is this is a little bit more organized page it is a wonderful uh, addition to uh, our data that we have and yes the uh, maps do work properly and uh, that is La Palma 3D maps and you have 12 different styles okay or 12 different maps that will give you all kinds of different information and you are welcome to peruse those so that uh, link right there uh, click on or right click on it uh, and bookmark that page because I guarantee you you will enjoy spending three or four hours perusing all the maps um, I know I need more time to look at all of them <laughs> really I, I do it is um, fascinating it's um, just absolutely great to, to see anyway uh, getting back to where we were uh, looking at what's happening on the screen and of course the bottom right is uh, from the observatoria uh, del Rogue de, uh, de uh, los Muchachos. Um, muchachos? Ma, yeah, Muchachos. That's it. I, I got it. All right. Um, uh, no habla espanol. Uh, so, sorry, guys. Uh, anyway, um, that view, of course, um, on the bottom, we can see um, where the uh, plume is is pushing the uh, the clouds up and all lit up in a nice kind of a almost orangey color and uh, very noticeable where the actual volcano is sitting and uh, of course off to the right hand side you can actually see the moon there as well and just to the left of the moon you can see the general or main body of uh, our Milky Way galaxy so that is an awesome shot tonight uh, really enjoyable and uh, I do like it I do like it uh, all right uh, barbarian said bushcraft bear mentioned uh, that some of the boulders and the lava flow are the size of three-story buildings 
and you know what you're right barbarian they are they are and uh, since you brought that up um, we're going to go look at some stuff that uh, is kind of interesting anyway I'm gonna show you something from yesterday this was the lava flow uh, when they had the outbreak during the day yesterday and uh, it's just a very short clip and I wanted to share that with you guys but you see the amount of lava that is coming out all at once okay so that is a, a horrendous amount I think I'll try to play that again just so you can see it and um, get back to it and um, yeah let you look at that again if you didn't see it but wow look at the amount of lava coming in one shot okay uh, let's see what's going on boring what's boring <laughs> London lava lout are you saying this is boring <laughs> anyway uh, that was from yesterday and then uh, here's uh, another stream and speaking of big rocks uh, there's one sliding down the hill now and uh, if you take a look at the size of that rock and compare it to the house oh uh, actually let me restart that one I think that one didn't uh, didn't work so well here uh, oh, I'm on the wrong one ah darn okay let's play that again there we go um, yeah you're gonna see there's a really really big boulder floating in the uh, in the lava river and um, this is one of them that is, is absolutely huge I think there's another one though that we have that uh, was kind of interesting uh, let's see I'm trying to keep up with the chat chats going crazy so very hard for me to read anything while I'm trying to multitask here as well okay so uh, yeah that one didn't show the the real thing but uh, this next one will um, there you see uh, a nice big chunk and if you do a little comparison to that house just off uh, behind it there um, this thing is you know the rock itself is a, a very big uh, big chunk also one down on the uh, bottom uh, portion of the screen here is another very very large uh, rock but uh, I unfortunately did not get the uh, the three-story sized rock and I do apologize for that uh, but I do understand and know that there were some things actually this is the one um, I don't know why I don't have that segment uh, but it was uh, one of these big rocks up here uh, that did let go and even my whiteboard doesn't work and what the heck I did have that uh, earlier but this this guy here uh, it went down the hill and I'm missing it for some reason so um, anyway uh, I'll, I'll take a look and see if I can find it somewhere later but for right now it is just absolutely uh, wild hey piggy I wanted to mention uh, did you not send any bacon seeds today uh, just kind of curious uh, we do think uh, that rock was thrown uh, or er what thrown or eroded um, eroded it uh, basically got pushed out by pressure um, and uh, this this one here is, is the one that I was referring to that was um, part of the uh, the cliff here and it ended up getting pushed out uh, so uh, with the amount of, of lava flow coming down if that's what you were asking uh, people who drill holes are boring oh my god people are, oh then this night that is a punny <laughs> uh okay piggy i don't know if you heard what i said uh <laughs> but uh, anyway let's go over to the volcano uh, i'm gonna look at it it is still being its wonderful fire fountain our view is a little bit diminished because of the uh, smoke and clouds that are hanging in the air unfortunately uh, but it is still there uh, we'll take a look from the other side uh, we don't see the uh, the prominent other vents that used to be over here um, they're not uh, shooting out as much anymore uh, and it seems that we have maybe just the two vents one slow one down on the bottom and uh, so uh, one fast one and one uh, one slow one there so that's what it looks like right now um, we know that the cone has broken up here multiple times 
um, yesterday as well as today again. Uh, we know that material was actually very, very weak in there. Um, oh, do you know, uh, okay, when the new lava uh, flowed to the coast, uh, okay, let, let's, let's uh, I don't know if it made it to the coast yet, Storm Runner, but it's, uh, it was getting closer, okay. Uh, Sean W., and of course, Dr. Fox, uh, really enjoy these. Welcome, uh, Sean. Glad to have you on board. And um, yeah, let's go over to that other uh, camera. And of course here, this is the uh, the one that's uh, looking at that lava flow that is coming. And uh, I think we gotta gotta qualify this with uh, with a map right away here as well, just so uh, people can get an idea of what's actually going on. Because looking at the dark scene is very very difficult. So. I'm going to let that uh, play in the background. I'm going to double check and see if I have my map loaded up on the right spot. Uh, so I have to split my screen here. Uh, give me a second or two and uh, we will see what we can do. Um, Duchess of Elements says two vents will uh, merge and become one huge vent. Uh, well, okay. Um, we, we had three before that, uh, that seemed to turn into one massive one, but, uh, Anyway, uh, okay, so yeah, I do have that map page up. So remember what I mentioned with the, um, the new La Palma 3D. So L-A-P-A-L-M-A 3D. And that will give you 12 different maps, you guys. And uh, you can per uh, peruse those at your whim and desire. I will go to one of them now. Uh, I will try to find my way through the gauntlet of many many open windows and uh, hopefully i will end up on the right map okay so we are on the right map and um, this is uh, it's interesting the way this uh, material works if you hold your mouse on the line it tells you when the flows actually happened uh, and the volume of the flows okay uh, so uh, we'll get off of that for a second and uh, I'm going to go to the other screen get my whiteboard working again properly and uh, This is one of the new um, maps that you can look at so the new lava flow and remember what I was saying It was coming to the north side of that other crater and uh, Why is my whiteboard not working? I think I have to uh, get rid of the one I've got and get myself a brand new one a new box of crayons guys um, happens all the time. Okay, um, they wear out or Piggy, Piggy was nibbling too much. <laughs> okay, so uh, this was that old volcano and of course uh, this is south down here, uh, north up in the top and uh, we're going to go east and west just so you get a general direction. Okay, and uh, the, uh, this is the old crater here, so uh, or old volcano that uh, is long since been extinct. This area here is the new material that is pushing through. There are multiple fires happening. It has pushed through this area already, so we know it's already burnt a lot of that. I'm not sure how wide it's gotten here, um, but it is uh, pushing and it's going to continue to push and they're guesstimating that it will go downhill somewhere over here and uh, make waterfall and uh, that's not 100 percent guaranteed but that's what i seen today uh, mars 2028 says uh, today's uh, daily updates from the alaska volcano observatory and hawaii volcano observatory are not available yet dr fox Okay, thank you, Mars 2028. Uh, Appreciate that, um, even though they're not available. Um, but thanks for the update. So, yeah, the new lava, and uh, again, I'll clear this off. So, uh, it will pick a path somewhere around here and come out here uh, if it holds true to what it is. Apparently, that's the, uh, the low point. So, uh, hopefully, um, it, uh, it'll follow that low point. Um, but you never know. But what you got to look at is you see how much stuff is in the way here. 
and it's basically burnt through that and is now somewhere around here. Uh, so uh, it's gone and done a lot more destruction. Um, I'm not sure how these guys will ever get back to their stuff if it uh, stays intact. So um, pretty awesome though uh, to see. Now uh, if I move that map a little bit, of course you can see uh, the newer uh, flow uh, down on, I'll go back to the other screen here, down here, uh, coming on to the peninsula, uh, the edge was right along here, okay, and uh, of that, um, the cliff, so that material is uh, coming down there, it is continuing to build up, there's continual flow happening there, so we have flow here, we have flow here, and we have flow coming down in here. So uh, those are all the places where that lava is going. Uh, and uh, if we go back to the other side, of course, uh, we have that other flow um, coming out uh, and heading that away. Okay, so uh, just to give everybody the idea where it's going. I uh, wonder what happens uh, if you own that house it was on and your la still your land um, is it new land um, that nobody owns well I don't know if it's new land I mean if you owned a chunk that's uh, say here okay if that was yours beforehand and uh, you just still own that same outline except for now you've got two-thirds of it covered in lava. I don't know if that's what you're uh, referring to. Um, you would still own that land, but if you um, go look at the new stuff, um, the new stuff down here, I don't know, I think the government owns that, Spanish government. So, um, okay, people were, uh, were on that cinder cone uh, to the north. Yes, they were, and they were actually thinking of putting uh, cameras up and uh, there's, uh, there's another cinder cone, uh, yeah, to the north. This is the one that uh, has the trail on it. Uh, let me clear that whiteboard off uh, because we have too many lines. Oh, wrong screen. Uh, there we go. And um, yeah, uh, that trail. And then uh, they were filming from here. Uh, so uh, what they were seeing is a lot of this material here and uh, pretty uh, sneaky. Uh, la lava on Acts of God uh, for home insurance in Canada? I don't know. I've never seen it on there. Uh, and uh, Dina, uh, guten Abend. Uh, glad to have you here. Uh, and Larry, thanks for that comment. Uh, Craig Thor, I saw a new video claiming 1,500 active volcanoes. Of course, another one said 1,000. Uh, how many going now? Um, right now, Craig Thor, I don't have numbers, and uh, it would be a guess, um, but uh, I don't think uh, 1500 is a little steep, but you never know, you never know. Anyway, uh, looking at the, uh, the map, the outlines, um, and as I said, if you type in La Palma 3D, uh, you will get all these different maps and uh, they are indeed 3D maps. You can turn them, you can rotate them, you can see uh, where the lava has gone, and uh, you can actually zoom in fairly well on uh, a lot of them. So um, it's an encouragement to go there, and uh, there you kind of see the, uh, the head of the lava flow as it's uh, burning the material. And uh, anyway, I'm going to leave you to that. So, uh, again, La Palma 3D, and uh, that will bring that up. Let's go back to our volcano, and uh, that is uh, still a pretty awesome sight. I see it's starting to make a, a duck foot out up on, on top there, uh, kind of spreading out. Uh, so we are getting a little bit more spillage. Uh, if we go to the other view there, we can see it a, a little better uh, from that side. So it still looks like we do have two very active events going on right now. Um, and uh, I think that's pretty cool, pretty interesting. Um, but not so good for all the people down uh, on the, uh, the bottom of that hill. 
Uh, so uh, a lot of that uh, has been happening. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Cirque Star, or yeah, Cirque, Cirque Star. I'm not sure if I pronounce that right. Okay, uh, I watch. Uh, I was watching the Hawaii interviews, and the U.S. governments are no long, uh, no longer helping owners uh, rebuild uh, because it happens too many times lately. Ooh, that's not good. And um, yeah, I mean, don't build down downhill from a volcano. Uh, uh, 95 uh, Winston says okay at the top of the volcano uh, where the lava shaft or lava starts to flow down uh, has a large number of boulders that were falling earlier uh, has stated uh, what uh, started to uh, fuse uh, uh, to the mountain again no, there's still a lot of loose material up there, uh, Winston. Uh, a lot of loose material. And uh, this is something that uh, you will continue to see massive boulders and chunks come out of that stream. Not only are they coming out of the stream floating out in the lava um, in, in the sense of um, the hard material that's formed, uh, but also literally... Um, red hot or white hot uh, rocks that have been circulated and come up uh, they're superheated and of course they will continue to be rocks uh, but they are now coated in, in lava and uh, as they're going tumbling down the hill some of these rocks are super sized literally the size of um, you know three-story apartment buildings and we witnessed that in Iceland as well you know when we were watching the streams there and uh, it's not unusual to see such large uh, boulders being moved around mother nature is very very powerful uh where the duck foot uh, you said is uh yeah it is very weak that whole area duchess of elements um any of the area that you actually see glowing okay that is very very hot material anything that and that includes uh, a lot of this side and then if we go kind of cut it down here all that in between here is very very loose and very weak material and could literally go down the hill okay so um there's nothing holding it or not much um so it should be pretty cool sherry lawson sherry lawson <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on. That was yesterday. I was supposed to say it twice. Today, I only said it twice. All right. Uh, welcome. Good evening. Um, this uh, event is not going to be big enough to make an impact on the ocean. Um, okay. I want to kind of readdress that a little bit. Now, there were some uh, higher ups uh, talking about what may happen to La Palma and um, although in a way they are ruling out a mega tsunami um, they are thinking that there may be a chance it could shift a little bit or split open a little bit and cause a displacement of a certain amount of water okay so if if there is going to be a tsunami uh, they're they're now saying that the chances are getting higher all right um so this is something interesting and uh, i did have uh, something i was going to uh look at here and uh see if i can decipher or read it uh where did it go and i did have it somewhere let me uh let me see if i can find it okay so this was an update from yesterday so ing uh, canarias director maria jose blanco uh, has uh contemplated uh what yeah contemplated the co uh, collapse of the platform created by the main lava flow the platform uh created uh or platform called uh, various Isla Baja or 
uh, Faha, Fahana. Okay, this is because uh, the accumulated lava now has reached the weight uh, of the cliff itself, but it's still consistently being pushed uh, from behind by additional lava. This platform currently rests on a shelf that is narrow uh, because La Palma is still a young and rel uh, relative terms uh, and beyond its shelf. Okay, so it's moving that lava, uh, pushing it beyond its shelf. So uh, something could break off there, uh, which is still geographically unconsolidated uh, and so rather unstable. Okay, uh, it's a long, deep slope to the seabed. Uh, the wave will form in uh, scenarios and the natural uh, or and naturally Blanco's words have not been interpreted as an announcement of an intimate, uh, intimate tsunami, even though she said nothing of the sort. Okay, in other words, she didn't say that there would be a tsunami, but people are, are twisting it around and thinking that that's what she's saying. Uh, and so today, uh, uh, Pav Pavolka Technical Director uh, Miguel Angel and uh, Moncrund, I'm not sure if I pronounce that right, but anyway, has uh, explained that should not uh, should the Fahana uh, collapse, it's uh, quite possible that uh, at any moment, okay, that at any moment he said it would nonetheless have an impact on the area already evacuated. Uh, and there's another paragraph to this uh, and that they're thinking that uh, um, the wave, uh, if this happens, uh, a wave uh, five meters high at the point of rupture uh, uh, with an expansion of up to 150 meters, uh, and I'm assuming that's the, uh, the rupture, uh, okay, well, or a wave. If that does happen, of course, that wave will uh, die out over distance a little bit, but uh, I don't know how much of a wave it will produce if that is the case. Anyway, that's um, what we have on there. So there, somebody is saying that, yeah, the, uh, the possibility of some type of a tsunami or the possibility of that shelf breaking off and collapsing is getting higher due to the weight of the lava. Um, interesting. Um, I have to go take a look at some more stuff to be able to um, get through it and actually understand uh, if this is uh, indeed plausible. Um, although, if it is a shelf, and it does drop, it certainly can and uh, will probably drop uh, at some point in time if the lava uh, weight continues. So, uh, somebody is saying break time. Thank you, Piggy. Uh, I'm late. Uh, Sandra Rockland, welcome. Uh, Dell51, also welcome. Uh, as, uh, Mac O'Neill and Zoe and Vas uh, Ludica, what? Lucidum. Lucidum? I hope I said that right. Uh, as well as Susie Cat is in the house, and uh, who else? Uh, we got most of you. Anyway, I am going to go take that break. Tina Sassy is also here. Uh, just I was just trying to make sure that I said hi to as many of you as possible. So, yeah, we do have um, a bunch of interesting different news there that uh, uh, makes people a little bit more leery. And uh, if we do have uh, something actually changing and uh, falling into the ocean, yeah, we'll get a little wave. And uh, I'm not sure what's, uh, what's going to happen with that yet, but uh, I don't want to be uh, um, sitting here going, yeah, it's going to happen or no, it's not. Um, I really don't know uh, because I don't know the geology underneath there. It makes sense that uh, if the mass comes out of lava over the platform, that the angle uh, 
ripples would result uh, in a uh, water displacement. Absolutely, Thendus. Um, it would if it uh, pops out and goes in, um, you know, and we get a massive uh, hurried drop of some sort. Yeah, it's going to cause uh, some issue. But as far as the, the physical size, this is something they still need to take a look at is how much is going to be displaced and you got to realize if you're putting mass uh, let's call it mass x into the water um, it, it it will only move so much water right if you have mass x y and z and that's three times as much as x by itself then yes you're going to move three times as much water so um it's kind of small in comparison to uh, what some of them are thinking or saying that it's you know going to create this massive massive uh, uh, tsunami um, we still have to remember the physical size of it now um, it's unlike um, say a subduction zone uh, like on the west coast of North America okay so that's kind of what I'm trying to balance it against Anyway, for those who have joined here, and if you like what you're seeing so far, um, please uh, do hit that like button. If you have comments in regards to what uh, I, we've already put up here, um, after the break, uh, please do uh, consider putting Dr. Fox 2000, all one word. I will try to get at those comments and uh, try to read them. Like, okay, somebody like Messenger just put that up there and he put a dot in after it and he put a space between Fox and the Doctor and the 2000. And had I not been looking at that portion of the screen, I would have never seen it. Okay, so um, put it all one word, DRFOX2000. That gives you Dr. Fox 2000, all right? Uh, any uh, word on the uh, north end of the island? Uh, was uh, there a lift of 10 centimeters? Messenger, I did not hear anything about that yet. And uh, yes, Piggy, I will check the email. Um, if anyone else has any info on that, uh, please do uh, chime up. If um, the northern end of the island has actually risen, um, by uh, by about 10 centimeters very curious piggy has given me the old snout it's time for me to go take my break don't forget to hit that like button you guys please that's what we look for in support for the stream uh, to keep us going and uh, the more the merrier of course anyway uh, you are seeing cumbre vieja the volcano uh, on la palma in the canary islands and I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000. I will be back in about five minutes after I take a, a break, and uh, then we'll we'll complain about Safeway. <laughs> ah, anyway, uh, bad time. Uh, so let's hit that like button, you guys. I see we're still over a hundred shy there from the amount of people we got in here. I'm your host, uh, Dr. Fox 2000. I will be back. Don't go away.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. I am your host, Dr. Fox 2000, and uh, you are watching the Volcano Eruption live stream. Uh, presently observing uh, Cumbre Vieja Volcano in La Palma. And uh, yeah, it is doing a fantastic job. Uh, it's Fire Fountain nickname has not uh, let us down yet it's continuing and uh, yes piggy i figured i'd come on slowly and gently so i wouldn't uh, scare you <laughs> uh, a little too much fun ah uh, there we said it all right uh anyway i'm glad everybody is here on board for those who are joining don't forget to hit that like button as well if you're new and you haven't subscribed yet uh, consider subscribing and uh, that way you will be able to hit that bell notification and uh, be able to see the future streams as uh, they come on so uh, let's see where's the uh, two vents uh, in the back and uh, right now yeah uh they seem to have uh died out somewhat they're still there you can barely see them uh there's not much lava coming out i'm gonna draw the line there there's uh, if you watch you'll see material coming up from here um flying up once in a while so it's kind of an empty area i don't know what happened to the other one here uh and there you can see some of that uh, flying up once in a while if you look right there uh, so the other ones we're not sure uh, if um, uh, maybe one of them got plugged up or perhaps this one here uh, they have merged and uh, gone into it and it's now shooting out of there as well we don't know um, haven't had a, a good look up top there so I uh, can't really tell um, little on the difficult side uh, so uh, hopefully uh, we'll have better definition of that in the future sometime and uh, be able to see yeah yelping there's a dog outside I don't know what the heck is going on <laughs> that's what happens when you get the window open uh, some dog isn't happy no he did not sound happy at all uh, why is the vent uh, erupting at an angle today and this is something that I was kind of wondering myself and I'm wondering if something slumped in here because we had two vents here okay we had that one and then we had the other ones up top here and we know there's still a few of them up here so I'm um, not exactly sure what's happened if we had slumping uh, in the cone now remember what we looked at earlier there with all that lava coming out all at once um, a lot of that material that was up in here has been washed down the hill because of the action. It's just like what we were watching last night, um, that heavy pulsating and the uh, full cone basically um, really pushed out all that hot molten area. And when you're looking at this, you see how red hot it is so that that is still like um, mush if you will to a degree and uh, it doesn't take that much force to uh, push it back out and um, you know if if that happens there's there's nothing uh, anyone can do to stop it it just it goes and that's it and uh, you'll find all kinds of sized rocks in there um, and uh, all kinds of uh, big uh, amalgam chunks that uh, have uh, glued themselves together and like each other and uh, want to go down in big balls of fire really uh, so a lot of uh, neat stuff going on um, trying to keep up with some of the comments here and remember if you did have a comment for me directly make sure you put dr fox 2000 uh, drfox2000 all one word in there that way it turns red in my um, a studio chat stream here and I can easily pick it out and uh, try to address your question uh, also if I don't see the question uh, maybe somebody else will answer it for you uh, Karen did exactly that and she's asking are uh, are there volcanoes in the Appalachian Mountains um, I, I, I really don't know if there are 
Uh, I think there's some old, old ones. Uh, that's something of interest, and uh, we'll have to take a look and see if we can find out, Karen. Uh, good question. Thank you. And uh, I, will, uh, I will make note of that, and uh, we will find out in the future. Uh, Dream of a uh, Hive says, uh, Dog seems... Uh, uh, oh, sees all the bones on the roof. Oh, my God. No wonder. That may be it. <laughs> No, the dog can't look up that high. He's just not that tall. Sorry. And uh, in case you're wondering what that comment about the bones is, I do have a bunch of bones up on the roof of the building uh, for my Halloween display. So uh, that's just so you know. And if you do want to go see it, you can later on. And uh, we will uh, throw the home stream uh, um, or 24-hour uh, stream address into the chat right here, right now, just so we have it. And uh, you can always uh, bookmark that if you don't have it already. Uh, so that link I just dropped there, that's uh, my 24-7 stream. And uh, we will uh, show off some of the, uh, the, the, the bones and things. Who's, uh, who was the bones? Uh, we can't tell you whose bones they were. Uh, that's top secret. Um, uh, I see zero, sorry. Uh, that's confidential information. You're not qualified to have it yet. Uh, besides, it might be incriminating to me. Uh, okay, anyway, uh, somebody else did a, a nice thing there. DJ uh, uh, did a couple things that uh, were pretty cool. So, exclamation talk brings up Talk Air Iceland's uh, a stream. And, and that is something that should be done at the end of our stream, though. And uh, the other one is Tony. Uh, so, exclamation Tony. And that brings up... Uh, uh, Tony uh, uh, Tony's uh, channel and he also streams uh, that so uh, DJ let's uh, keep that till the end of the stream next time would be really appreciated uh, okay uh, IC zero says okay pro uh, we promise we won't tell all right good uh, <laughs> it was the spider and uh, <laughs> Anyway, uh, Lava Walker Bones. Yep, uh, Sassy, that's about it. Uh, um, <laughs> we, we can see right through those guys, so I'm telling you. Anyway, uh, bad humor, bad humor. So no activity in the past few million years. Uh, uh, actually, it started around the same time uh, that the continents first broke apart uh, from Pangaea and uh, Pangaea, sorry. Um, and you know, Pangaea, that's something I was looking at, um, trying to figure out something there, Rick Engineer. Um, <laughs> oh, Messenger, that's funny. Uh, this uh, erection itself uh, will affect the cauldron, uh, tabu, uh, what? Tabu, oh, I can't even pronounce that word. Uh, yeah, um, it's going to affect things. Yes, of course it will. Okay, uh, but Rick, anyway, the, uh, the, the Pangaea, th or Pangaea thing, sorry. Um, what uh, I was wondering about is, is how, how the heck we ended up getting Florida. <laughs> if you take a look at how everything was curled up there, uh, it doesn't make much sense. Uh, why is Florida on there? It shouldn't be there. Uh, maybe it was an upheaval. Uh, anyway, uh, we'll think about that one later on. Ellis Wright, uh, Red Red uh, doesn't uh, work with, uh, with what? With uh, iPad. Uh, okay, uh, could you put your URL? What? Put URL for 3D map. Um, Okay, uh, I get numerous sites going La Palma 3D, and uh, most of them seem to be the right ones. Okay, the uh, I'm not sure what uh, you're referring to here. Doesn't work with uh, iPad. I'm sorry, Ellis, uh, and I'm surprised it doesn't work on an iPad. Um, if we go, I'll, uh, do that again. So. If uh, you guys can uh, test that out, it seems to work uh, really well with um, with my stuff here. I don't know um, what's happening, but uh, anyway, I did want to go over to um, or back to that. 
uh, map. Uh, before we do so, though, um, I did want to add our little our little sweet thing that we always have on here. And I know it's probably just a tad early, but uh, here's our bacon seed for today. So um, if, uh, if we don't hear a bunch of ahs and aw, cute. And um, so that is definitely bacon seed. And um, uh, how do you, do they get the statistics uh, from millions of years ago? Um, what, uh, who was there to document the information messenger? That's a very good question. And, um, they're guessing they're guessing uh, they are taking known practices of uh, things like carbon dating as well as uh, layers and geological structures of the past and you can see them uh, in pretty much any any place you look uh, where you have any type of upheaval you can see the layers of what has happened before and uh, on this planet and you can turn around and surmise from those um, you know whether we had volcanoes whether we had uh, rainstorms or, or what have you floods and, and so on and so forth so um, there are a lot of ways to test out some of these things um, but yeah um, obviously there was nobody back there uh, taking messages and doing notes at the time so um, it is one of those things it's just like how do they come up with the age of the sun okay you know um, who was there uh, five billion years ago to actually witness the uh, the sun starting to form um, I know I wasn't around so um, it is all through uh, through the magic of science and, and surmising certain things that we know and applying those theories and uh, having it uh, work that way. Uh, Daily Clayton uh, throws in a geologist uh, uncovered a vast magma chamber beneath uh, Mont, uh, or, yeah, Mont Le, Le Conte uh, in the National Park uh, Service uh, press release. Uh, okay, uh, leading researcher Dr. Andrew J Johnson and this, uh, okay, the discovery was truly shocking. Uh, I'm not sure where Mount uh, Le Conte, Conte or Conte, uh, Mount, yeah, Mount Le Conte is. So, anybody know uh, what country, uh, North America, South America, where? Uh, curious. Uh, okay, IC0, have you seen uh, the Italian uh, volcano, uh, uh, okay, yeah, volcano, volcano, maybe starting to wake up? Okay last few days uh, stream bursts have been coming from the crater all right uh, interesting news boy lots of stuff going on anyway uh, bacon seed that's what we're seeing on the on the screen all right let's get the bacon seed off of there let's get the word bacon seed off of there and why are we not seeing what we want to see um, we've seen this already that's not the right place um, but we'll look at it again just while it's going down the hill and then we will switch uh, volcanoes uh, with partially violent explosive activity are called supervolcanoes. Um, yeah, depending on the physical size. Um, this is one of the other neat maps that we have um, in the uh, system there. And uh, if I get onto the right page, we can slide uh, back and forth and show you. Uh, this is what it uh, is now, and uh, this is what it was uh, pre eruption. So that gives you a, a pretty good idea of what's going on. And uh, unfortunately, they don't show the cones here um, till we get over here, I think. And uh, there are the cones. So um, that is one of the 12 maps that is on that uh, 3D map page uh, for La Palma. So La Palma 3D. And uh, it's a very good comparison map uh, where you can see what was there before and what has happened to it now uh, and uh, I personally think it's it's an awesome job um, one of the things that uh, you can actually do if you look at the area here of Todoki um, which is pretty much gone now uh, covered in lava completely and uh, unfortunate but um, 
it is it's one of those things. So the town or or hamlet of Tadoki is is no more. Anyhow, um, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, okay, and uh, yes, you got excited about the Mount Etna pick, and uh, we will show that Mount Etna pick, and uh, that's going to happen uh, as soon as my computer decides to change streams here or do what it's supposed to. Uh, I'm going to actually see if we can get off of there and uh, go back to one of the other ones. And uh, 3D maps are always a, a big uh, chewer of, of data. <laughs> so anyway, I will uh, get that off the screen and let's see. Uh, we will load that other one back up and I know it's here somewhere uh, because I saved it and uh, we will do this again I guess uh, okay let's see if we can make sure that it goes into a right file this time and uh, we will load it up for you guys Whoop, um, hang on I gotta redo that Sometimes things don't flow as well as they could, guys. So, uh, there we go. And uh, just wanted to uh, share this picture with you. And um, it looks pretty cool. And thank you, Piggy, for sending this one in. And, of course, it's uh, something really, really neat. Uh, basically, a phoenix uh coming from mount etna and uh i thought it was kind of neat looks cool um some kind of dragon flying there and uh love that that's an awesome shot and uh, thank you for sharing that with us uh, piggy and uh really uh, uh oh uh it's in tennessee thank you daily i appreciate that um very cool pick it really, really is a, a cool picture. So, um, thank you for sharing that. And uh, really uh, do enjoy uh, looking at that kind of thing. And let's see if we go back to our multi screen here for now. And uh, we can leave it on there for a few minutes. I see it is break time. And uh, I am going to go uh, take that break, you guys. So please, uh, if you haven't already hit the like button, please consider doing so. Uh, we really would uh, like that support if you could hit that like button and make that happen. I want to see it go up a whole bunch today. And uh, I hope you've already subscribed. If you haven't done so already, um, do hit that subscribe button and also click that bell notification so you get notified when the streams come on. If you do need to know when the streams are, you can always look down in the description and uh, it does tell you the times uh, and what days of the week. And uh, usually we're on all the time, every day, except for what happens sometimes is because I am on call and I do work for a living, um, sometimes work gets in the way, uh, sometimes weather gets in the way and uh, those little minor detailed things uh, health and other things like that you know you know you know what i'm talking about things get in the way so uh please uh understand that and then uh, like i say if you haven't hit that like button yet and you like what you're seeing so far by all means do uh, hit that button and on that note i'm your host dr fox 2000 i am going to take a five minute breather don't go away. I will be back. Keep smiling. Play nice in the lava. And um, not too many lava balls back and forth today. It's, it uh, makes a mess, guys. I'll, I'll be back. <laughs>
Okay, I have the microphone back on, ladies and gentlemen. I hope I'm not going to scare anyone this time. And uh, glad to see you're all still here. Uh, we have 224 people in the chat, uh, 236 likes. Uh, excellent uh, showing so far. And a little bit more scary stuff. Uh, somebody getting scared in the uh, channel with that ghost. And uh, I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000. And we are watching the volcano eruption live stream presently on the screen Cumbre Vieja Volcano in La Palma, Canary Islands. And uh, glad to have you all here. Uh, Dr. Fox, is this your volcano mountain uh, range near uh, you, uh, you or your? I'm here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada really far away from any any type of volcano at least uh eight to nine hundred miles away from from the uh, yellowstone super volcano and uh, all kinds of uh, other ones to the west uh, which have long died out and um, uh, probably uh, just a far, just as far away from the alaskan volcanoes so um kind of in a good spot here not too too terribly worried about having a volcano eruption locally so um i don't think that'll happen but you know you never know mother nature does play some funky tricks on us at times and uh, things are hard to uh, deal with uh no nice okay thank you i'm glad i was nice <laughs> and uh, i tried to be uh try to be gentle and kind okay uh we're switching screens though and I uh, wanted to uh, point this one out. Of course, this is the uh, uh, one where the, that new lava stream is burning all the material uh, in its path. And uh, you see the, uh, the large fire that's happening there now, uh, probably burning up another home or farm of some sort, uh, some kind of building. Now, speaking of buildings, we know that um, somebody was saying over 1,500 buildings have been uh, burned down. Um, I heard Bushcraft Bear today say it was uh, 1,100 and some. So uh, 1,100 uh, plus homes have already been destroyed here in uh, La Palma uh, because of the uh, of volcano. Uh, so we do feel uh, a big loss for uh, all the people and uh, it is a shame that things are happening there um, really not much we can do but again as i mentioned in yesterday's stream as well if you are so inclined to help these people out in some way uh, you do have organizations like the red cross uh, as well as uh, other organizations that can indeed uh, help out uh, you know if you donate to them um kevin haynes says yeah uh, 1168 houses destroyed or homes yeah that's a lot of uh lost residences and uh it's unfortunate that that happens but uh it is what it is uh prophet williams also in the house uh, let's see uh, diane craig also made it uh, here uh, but she's buffering Arr, okay uh, let's not buffer uh, Larry Vladika, time to go and uh, take care, uh, Larry. Uh, thanks for being here. Really do appreciate it. And uh, have yourself a, a good afternoon uh, for the rest of the afternoon. Frank McLeod also in here. 1,100 structures, not homes. Uh, so, okay, uh, barns, offices, that includes churches. Okay, well, um, the, the number was 1168. But, yeah, that's still, it's... Uh, a fair number of buildings in general and uh, it does uh, impact um, what goes on there in La Palma um, that's a lot of losses for uh, uh, um, a place that has a, a populace of, of uh, 86,000 uh, approximately people so um, yeah it, it's detrimental uh, when you uh, lose a, a large percentage of uh, of homes and uh, those fires seem to be getting a little bit more intense there and of course you can see the wall of lava that is moving towards uh, towards the ocean so that will probably reach uh, reach the ocean before 
the dawn breaks, uh, depending on uh, what kind of lava push we continue to see with that. Uh, anyhow, um, I want to kind of drag you away from there for a few minutes. And uh, we want to go over to uh, our uh, Iceland volcano and um, uh, see what it was doing. And uh, I know it wasn't doing a heck of a lot, but we want to, uh, um, yeah, imagine losing your home. Um, yeah, that would be horrible. It would be heartbreaking, uh, uh, Sophie, uh, very, very much so. Um, uh, what's Quantum Boomer? Uh, your stream is amazing and highly informative. Uh, have a Pepsi on me. Why, thank you. Uh, that's very kind of you with that $5 super chat. And I uh, will certainly do that uh, later on. Um, okay, so I did want to take you over to Iceland. And of course, I had to back it up a little bit because it was uh, dark. Uh, this is from uh, 1823. Uh, we can see down in uh, the valley at the bottom end of Nathagi. And uh, we see the berm over here, uh, for those who don't know. And uh, Nathagi Valley is in that general direction. And uh, up here, this is what we refer to as the ridge. And uh, it's a chain of uh, very high mountains there that kind of uh, moves along and uh, creates a very good vantage point and uh, a divider uh, to keep the lava in uh, those valleys. Uh, let's go to the other view here and again I did back this one up as well uh, to uh, 1630 roughly and uh, for those who are not familiar with it I uh, will give you a quick rundown what we just spoke of uh, not Haggy Valley is uh, off down the hill here and um, that is where that is uh, the valley in the background here is Galdinga Darler and uh, this valley right here uh, and uh, to that way are Meridalier. Uh, this one is Southern Meridalier SM uh, and then uh, just Meridalier off uh, in that direction uh, down the hill to the northeast. And uh, we'll get rid of all our scribbles here and of course our volcano if you haven't seen it there yet. Uh, that's Ragnar, and uh, it is a, a fair-sized monster sitting there. Uh, it used to be just a tiny little mound in there way back when, but it's grown and uh, potentially a shield volcano. Um, the fact that we still see it gassing uh, or off-gassing is uh, a good sign. That means that we still have a... Uh, 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 an ability uh, to be able to uh, uh, which camera number is that please uh, I'm not sure what you're referring to uh, uh, Mona Alfano um, camera number in comparison to whom um, this is the ruv.is camera up on uh, the long ridge if you will um, I hope that helps you, but it's R-U-V or RUV, as they call it, and uh, it, it is what it is. So, um, with uh, looking at that, like I say, with the, uh, the possibility uh, it could erupt again, um, but we are not sure. It may take as long as six months before it erupts again. But uh, camera two, uh, okay, RUV, yeah, it is, okay, uh, RUV.IS uh, is, is where it is, or RUV if you go look at it. Yeah, I'm not sure, it would be two probably if uh, the Nat Haggy one is one. <laughs> uh, depending on uh, how they have it lined up on their site today. Uh, anyhow, um, since we looked at the volcano, we don't see a heck of a lot of action there. I did want to uh, mention that we still have uh, some very hot spots in there. And uh, uh, hang on, let's get rid of the uh, volcano eruption thing here. That's a long time ago. Um, there, that, we don't need that. This is actually uh, from uh, today. Uh, and uh, if we go look at the time, I will try to find the time here on there. It was at, uh, oh, actually right at zero, zero. So uh, right at tw 
$23.99, if you will. <laughs> uh, $23.59.99 uh, or $59.59. Anyhow, um, what I wanted to point out here is uh, not so much that um, it's uh, not erupting, but you do still see hot spots. So everything that you see glowing, every one of these lights is indeed still hot lava uh, in there in the valley. And of course, uh, um, for those who uh, don't quite get the orientation here, I will back it up a little bit so you can understand and see. Uh, this right here is Gelding Gadarler. This is Ragnar, of course. And uh, we will back it up through the day here so you can have a little bit better look at uh, what it looked like. And uh, that gives you more of an idea. And of course, this flow um, that we had there, uh, of course, with the bad weather as well, um, that was kind of neat there. So um, you can still see uh, a, a lot of that movement is still happening and um, mother nature is of course trying to find an equilibrium there to uh, level everything out and uh, we did have some bad weather uh, throughout that area um, earlier today but uh, yeah and this was back to the nighttime so those those spots are still there uh, don't walk on the lava guys uh, don't do anything foolish and um, before we jump to the break, I will just uh, grab the rumble chart. Uh, this is the harmonic tremors. As you can see, it's starting to solidify again, and we are seeing more earthquakes. And um, that's kind of um, an interesting thing. I don't know if that's good or bad. Uh, earthquake map really, really quickly. Um, if I get to that one, and uh, I know I'm probably going a little fast over top of it. Uh, Astia, uh, remember we had that one from yesterday. It was fairly big, uh, 3.0 on the scale. So that's Astia out there. And uh, if we zoom back out, we look over here where our cluster is. We see a little bit more out in the ocean. Uh, this wasn't here yesterday, uh, but it was from yesterday right at the end of the day, 2.2. So we do have something uh, happening out there. This cluster, of course, uh, this is Kilar. Our volcano, uh, Ragnar, is here where the hand is now. And uh, of course, this swarm here of uh, earthquakes, you notice it's moving southward. And uh, that is something of interest. So um, it, it's possible that we could have something happen in this area or it may take six months and, and progress and, and happen over here yet. We really, really don't know. The uh, reason I show this page the way it is, is uh, so you guys can understand it is for seven days, uh, which you can see up here. And you can actually set that yourselves. So if you want to bring up this earthquake map, type in earthquakes. Uh, or earthquake and uh, that'll bring up this map uh, for Iceland you can do that uh, on your own uh, if you want to see the earthquake map for La Palma type in uh, La Palma EQ uh, which will give you the earthquake map for La Palma uh, is uh, Plinth Peak uh, not in your neighborhood uh, no, Plinth Peak is not in my neighborhood. <laughs> Sorry, uh, there's nothing in my neighborhood. No peaks at all. Um, I'm at least 400 miles away from the nearest uh, mountain, okay? Or 400 kilometers, I should say. Uh, all right, on that basis, I'm going to put it back on our uh, friendly neighborhood volcano. Actually, the multi-screen because it was still running. And uh, we'll get over there uh, so you can enjoy that. And I am going to go, oh, hang on, is it? It's not break time yet, is it? Or did I run right over my break? No, it's not break time yet. I was thinking of having to go for a break. Uh, who said break? Uh, okay. Break. Uh, no, check, oh, check email. I gotta check email? Oh, oh, break, break, 
What is that fuzzy picture? Um, okay, ducky, that didn't work. It was very, 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 very blurry. I can't even make out what they are. Um, I don't know if you want to maybe resend that or uh, take a take a look and see if you can resend it. It was uh, it's so fuzzy I can't tell what it is. I'm sorry. Um, new bacon. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, not able to see it. Sorry. Um, dot exe has a bug. No. No. Don't do dot exes. We don't want bugs. Uh, you ran past it. LOL. What? I ran past it. Oh my God. I missed something. What did I miss here? Um, Dr. Fox dot ESE has a bug. Oh, there shouldn't be a dot fox dot exe because we never had one of those. <laughs> uh, okay. I what? Sent uh, anything? I didn't send anything. Ducky? No. Uh, I don't think you sent anything. Uh, all right. I'm confused now. What's going on? Ah, uh, okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, messed me right up, guys. Uh, I'm trying to keep uh, keep up with this and uh, figure it out. Uh, Oystein, uh, welcome. Uh, hi, Kilar is pronounced K Lear. Oh, K Lear. Uh, I heard uh, them pronounce it uh, Kilar. Uh, K, uh, Klar, um, and these are guys from uh, Iceland. Uh, Klar, uh, we'll have to work on that. If you say it's Klar, I will trust you on it since you're over there. Uh, there's a picture of uh, Sarah. Uh, Um, no colon I haven't seen it sorry uh, okay Sophie uh, no I can't pronounce that <laughs> oh let's not do that uh, uh, Robert Neal welcome uh, glad to have you on board uh, Okay, D, uh, Dina, K. Lear. Okay, I will uh, pronounce it K. Lear from now on. Because I, I seriously, I've heard it pronounced different ways from Icelandic people. And I'm kind of going like, what is it? Did I say that right? Uh, confusion time, eh? Yep, apparently. <laughs> oh, if it wasn't for confusion, I wouldn't have any organization at all. Uh, Patricia, welcome. Uh, thanks for sharing. And uh, it's obviously love uh, Huntsville, Ontario, Canada. Absolutely love. Yeah, we. Yeah, Huntsville, Ontario, Canada. It's a nice place. Been there before. Through it anyway. Um, can't remember where it is, but been through it. I remember that. Long time ago. Uh, anyway. I am looking at the clock though and going, yeah, it's going to be uh, um, a good uh, good break coming up for me here right away. Oh man, so many things. Anyhow, for those who have joined, please don't forget to hit that like button. Also, uh, for uh, those that are enjoying what they're seeing and the lovely lava on the screen and so on, please uh, do consider hitting that uh the subscribe button or like button either or or both uh, it will certainly uh, help me out and uh, we can uh, go from there all right uh, Grendel what are you saying uh, 
I, I, I. <laughs> uh, all right. No, no. I'm going to stick to English here. Oh, this is going to mess me right up. I want to have a relaxing day. Don't want to get messed up too much here. Okay. Uh, anyway, we are watching uh, that lovely volcano. Oh, I uh, just got an email in here. Maybe that'll help. Oh, my God. What the heck is that? <laughs> uh, uh, okay. All right. Okay, Piggy. Uh, um, oh, double G in that word, eh? <laughs> uh, that, that actually looks scary, that one, Piggy. Uh, all right. Before I go on the break... And we will uh, throw this one up. And uh, please, uh, please don't get confused as to what this is. Uh, uh, yeah, no, no confusing uh, Dr. Fox. He's our host. Yeah, don't confuse me today. I'm, uh, I'm having a good day. Uh, anyway, I did want to complain about Safeway. I went over there and, you know, you'd think for... Um, for it being Thanksgiving here in Canada that they would at least have turkey dinners out there somewhere of some sort in the deli. I mean, they have everything else. Uh, you think they'd have a turkey dinner in the deli? Of course not. Um, apparently, nobody thought of it this year, you know. And uh, I went and asked the management. I said, really? Nobody here thought of it being Thanksgiving and that you should make turkey dinners for people? Uh, well, we didn't think of it. Yeah, mm, that's pretty smart. And I said, yeah, and what, what happens when we forget about, oh, gee, we wanted something and we know that Safeway is down there, so we'll just accidentally forget about Safeway. So, anyway, that's my rant today. I'm very disappointed in that company. Ever since they've been taken over uh, by uh, Sobeys, they've gotten nothing but worse. Uh, so, uh, I, and I thought it was going to improve. i got to start going back to the co-op. Anyway, uh, Sweeney Todd Haggis. Oh, oh, my God, a killer cat. Did you see that? We had a, a violent mountain lion go by <laughs> oh okay uh, a bit late sorry okay uh, tracy bills you're not too too late we still got a half an hour to go in the show um i'm trying to uh load something up uh before i forget what i'm doing and um there we go uh all right, we'll get that loaded up first. And uh, since uh, <laughs> since it was brought up here, um, the word haggis uh, is interesting because uh, this apparently is a bacon seed for haggis. Okay, and <laughs> I have no idea what that... That actually a pig? Piggy? Tell me, is that actually a piggy, a pig? Oh, I have no idea what that is, you guys. Um, <laughs> piggy, you're the one who sent it to me. Tell me what this is. <laughs> oh, oh, Vanning uh, with uh, Ida, Dr. Fox, are you, uh, are you in Spain? No, I am in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. And uh, it, uh, um, we are looking at something that is, uh, what is it? An illegal alien piggy, uh, perhaps. Uh, riot pig, uh, piggy, okay. Uh, it's a bacon seed of sort, but uh, um, I'm not sure what variety. Anyhow, uh, we'll uh, get that off the screen. And uh, uh, here is uh, our view from the USGS uh, cam. Jonesy Music, hello and welcome. And he throws in a two-pound super chat. Awesome. Really do appreciate the support. Uh, and even though you don't have to do it. But uh, thank you very much for that. 
and uh, of course in this picture I always uh, watch out for the uh, the magic rock here and uh, it's still moving around guys and uh, hasn't uh, jumped out of there yet so either it's alive it's a rock or it's just something <laughs> okay on that friendly note uh, we will uh, that's our uh, our all I have for uh, uh, Kilauea today unfortunately uh, but we will put it back on the multi-screen uh, of our uh, Cumbre Vieja volcano in La Palma. And uh, down on the bottom left, of course, you see the lava wall pushing forward towards the ocean. And uh, this is the route that it is taking on the northern side of um, that one little uh, uh, mountain or vent, uh, old volcano that's long since stopped there. So this is... Um, coming around the northern side most of the flow was around the southern side so that helps you out a little bit with understanding where that is it is taking out a whole bunch more uh, new uh, buildings or as well uh, homes and farms and and uh, storage areas the thing those things that were in the way uh, top two screens of course two different angles of our volcano and uh, the bottom right hand screen is uh, the view from the observatory uh, on uh, Los uh, Muchacho, uh, Muchachos. Uh, so um, that gives you a sky view or uh, an, a high above the cloud aerial view, if you will. And uh, you can see that lighting up. So on that note, I am going to go take a break. Please don't go away. If you haven't hit that like button yet, consider hitting the like button. We really do appreciate seeing that number go up. Also, if you haven't uh, subscribed yet, do consider subscribing and uh, hit that bell notification. On that uh, friendly note, I am going to uh, take a five-minute break. I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000. Don't go away. I'll be back with a Another fine half hour right away.
Okay, I turned the microphone back on. I didn't want to do that yet. I'm still drinking my Pepsi. Okay, Pepsi is empty. I'm going to have to run for Pepsi before, uh, before the show's over. So we'll take another break right away. Anyhow, figured sneak back in here in a quiet manner so uh, Piggy wouldn't get scared. Uh oh, noodle, Dr. Fox. Yeah, so much ex uh, expression. Sophie, what are you expressing? <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's let's all be nice here. Uh, troll renegade, what? Renegados uh, into volcano. Uh, okay, let's not throw anybody in there um, to save the humanity. All right. Well, uh, if we had a cold fusion device, I think that would be a little bit better, right? Um, so let's not throw anything into any volcano and uh, not even uh, go about talking about that. Uh, because we are a friendly channel. We do not uh, throw people into anything. And uh, having said that nice stuff, uh, of course, we see our uh, display on the screen. Um, and that fire is getting more intense down at the uh, towards the shoreline there. Uh, but before we get too far, I did want to um, just throw this other image back up, uh, just sent to me here. And for some reason, I cannot find uh, my satellite copy of this image because I seen it from on top as well. Um, when what you're looking at, of course, is the uh, volcano uh, plume going up and it has indeed created a bunch of uh, what looks like an, an actual bullseye up there and uh, I wish I had my other copy there that I saved and I can't find but uh, these are, are nice big circles going around and when you look uh, from either the top down or the bottom up they kind of look the same and it looks like a, a huge bullseye just right over uh, the volcano in La Palma. Uh, no, unfortunately, not a UFO. Uh, they already checked that out. Um, but they, uh, they were able to see uh, through the clouds and so on uh, from the top as well as uh, looking up from the bottom. So it is uh, an interesting shape. And uh, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. And uh, we'll throw it back over to the volcano, not into the volcano. And uh, we will keep going. Thanks, uh, Dr. Fox. You work quick. Colin, thanks for, for sending that. So um, I wish I could find the other one, though, Colin, uh, from uh, the top down. Um, I was, okay, uh, Grandma B says, I was wondering, sometimes you seem to smoke, uh, what? You see the smoke uh, cir uh, circulating um the volcano close to the ground and eddies uh, do you know why it does this and uh, it's just the, the way the uh, the air is flowing at the time uh, grandma b um and it is very very hard to predict or be able to uh um you know surmise whether it's going to happen in the future but as far as uh, when it does occur uh, we may have um, a very stagnant um, moving system and if that is the case and we get billowing uh, where it kind of pulsates and it would create these rings it's just like throwing a rock into uh, a pond uh, and you get the ripple effect um, that pulsation of really really hot uh, gases into the air and it will turn around and make kind of the same uh, ripple effect uh, in the sky. And you can see that, and I wish I had that actual uh, satellite image, and I, I don't know what I did with it, but I, it's really a shame because it would have been really nice to be able to look at that from both sides. So um, it's kind of that way. Um, keep it classy, peeps. Yep, uh, let's keep it classy. Uh, it looks really interesting when it does that. And it does, um, indeed, Grandma B. And um, it's when we get very uh, stable air, or uh, more, more referred to as stagnant air, where, where we don't have anything pushing uh, the weather system away, and it's very, very low. 
um, air movement and it does exactly that. The pulsations uh, from the volcano will cause rings. It's like blowing smoke rings from a cigarette in a way. Uh, okay, haggis with pineapple is good. Uh, sassy, I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, uh, just like bacon and pineapple pizza. Okay, uh, I prefer ground beef uh, and pineapple and onions. That actually is pretty good. Um, I know, weird. Uh, does the bear have gas? Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, by the leader, okay, uh, DJ, uh, Mars 2028, 20, 20, uh, the weather uh, finally improved at the volcano in Mexico, uh, there's a lot of steam coming out of it, ah, very interesting, and uh, we may have to have a look and uh, keep an eye on uh, Mexico as well, um, that is interesting uh, to have it down there. Um, I've also been kind of trying to keep an eye on what's going in, uh, going on in Costa Rica. Um, there's uh, a few in there that uh, have been bubbling again as well. So um, activity all over the world as far as um, you know, being able to get the information very quickly. And uh, this is one of the reasons where you know, people uh, are saying, hey, there's more and more volcanic activity. No, it's just the data is uh, coming to us a lot quicker uh, than it used to uh, back in the old days. You know, when uh, you get the uh, 60s and 70s and stuff like that, it took, uh, took you a while to get information from A to B, uh, even though they did have teletype and things like that. So um, it's still uh, a lot of... Uh, a lot speedier now nowadays since it's at the speed of light uh, or almost um the huge rock is seen uh, at about five minutes in uh at about five minutes in uh from nancy i'm not sure which are you referring to um five minutes in on uh, what on this uh, this stream um i'm trying to figure it out um, have to be a little bit more let's see if uh, if this will show a huge rock here if we go back to the beginning and uh, no not on this one it's gonna be hard to see if uh, if there was uh, during the daytime and uh, yeah let's uh, move it back to 1080 and uh, that would be good yeah uh, but it is still smoky there so um, it happens uh, look about seven comments up um, you mean uh, 70 comments up uh, dr. Fox the huge rock I seen that one that's seven comments up but prior to that I don't see anything Nancy I'm sorry uh, if you did not put dr. Fox 2000 on it it's virtually impossible for me to see it as uh, things were flying by in a very big hurry so um okay uh, i'm trying to figure this out um because that's very very smoky uh this was earlier in the day by the way just so you guys can see what uh, what that volcano was doing and uh, definitely uh pushing out a bunch of material uh, I recently heard about the eruption uh, in the Congo. Have you heard anything else uh, going on there in Africa? No, I have not. Um, Ing B, uh, scary. Mama never said there would. Uh, yeah, Mama never said there would be days like this. Ing, there are days like this. Uh, very scary, very unfortunate, uh, and uh, a lot of loss for a lot of people. Um, yeah, um, I'm trying to, uh, I'm still trying to see where, where that thing is there with the comments. Um, cone building, you bet, that's what it's doing. And uh, while we have that on here, I, I do want to kind of emphasize on something because we can see the backside right now, uh, which is not something we can see too often. It's always in the smoke. And you see how far down it goes here. 
and it is literally into uh, into a valley in the back. And I'm surprised uh, Mother Nature hasn't decided to fill that back area up yet. And uh, that is going to happen uh, in the future if we get this thing to slow down a bit and it starts to rebuild the cone here. And uh, that's when uh, this could indeed reverse direction, uh, very similar to what we did have at um, uh, Ragnar when um, all of a sudden the flow decided to turn because it was built up too far, too high already and uh, changed uh, its definite directions there. So, uh, let's see. Uh, Crumble says, bedtime. Okay, Crumble, you have a good uh, good night. Take care. All the best. And uh, let's see. Banana Puss. Uh, okay. Uh, they are still drinking um, bingo. Da what? B bongo down in the Congo. Okay. Uh, drinking... Um, bongo down in the Congo. All right. Uh, those tiny trees in the foreground give you an idea of how huge this volcano is, Dr. Fox. Absolutely. And um, this is something that a lot of people can't put into perspective. This is a mountain already. It is literally grown into a mountain. And, okay, let's see. What else we got here? Uh, trying to keep up with the, the chat. Uh, Krennel, what? Okay, missed that. Uh, Tom True Love, uh, thank you once again uh, for this community. You are certainly welcome, Tom True Love, and uh, I'm glad that all, all, all you good people are here. So, uh, because the cone has uh, built up so quickly, does that mean... Uh, it is uh, more fragile. Absolutely, um, uh, Evie. There's a lot more space in between uh, the tephra, the bubbles, uh, everything that has, has happened. So we have a lot more gases trapped. Um, that means potential uh, spots for it to be weaker. Um, if we have uh, a larger force of lava on the inside of the cone, it can uh, more easily dislodge and uh, pop out those things as the the outer crater cools a little bit. Um, it uh, has a tendency to contract, and then uh, it it'll uh, when it contracts, it cracks, and uh, it can push out uh, quite easily. Um, not sure if uh, you've seen our stuff in um, from. Uh, way back with uh, Ragnar, where that whole side of the cone, the wall, everything was moving back and forth. And it was quite a, a, an experience to see that. Um, but it can happen to this as well. Uh, also, a lot of the outbreaks here that we showed from yesterday, day before, um, those are because that material at the very top that is getting washed out uh, that material definitely is not uh, solidified, especially if it's very, very hot yet. And uh, it, it's going to turn around and be able to push, uh, push it, and then it starts pushing uh, the next volley of uh, uh, eruptions, uh, pushes it more and more and more, and then eventually it will fall out and uh, give you a massive lava spill. It's... Um, just the way Mother Nature works, gravity works, and uh, you know, composite strength in in the material is uh, is weakened uh, because of uh, the continuous um, material pushing up against it, right? So it, it's just the way it is. Uh, okay, let's see what else we got. Um, I wanted to move up a little bit further here uh, in time. And uh, we can see various uh, times of the day. And uh, sometimes you couldn't see anything. And other times you had uh, fairly good visibility. And uh, let's see, uh, further on in the day we had a little bit more uh, fire eruption again with a lot more black smoke. Uh, so um, it's varied throughout the day as far as the amount of material that's dumped into the air dumped into uh, 
the atmosphere so uh, it's going to be uh, interesting to uh, see what it does and of course it continued on uh, like its uh, predecessor or, or well its previous days I should say um, where it's still that fire fountain so the pressure obviously is there it's still uh, pushing that lava up sky high and uh, doing its thing so we'll put that back onto live and uh, there you can see it you can also see down in the bottom of course uh, it uh, it has formed um, more of a lava lake again uh, down here as that flow continues um, one of the things as we mentioned yesterday uh, a lot of people have the perception of oh this volcano is more active at night well we showed some of those daytime lava flows today and uh, they are just as horrendous during the day as they are at night the only difference is uh, perception uh, at nighttime you can definitely see the lava a lot brighter against the dark background therefore your brain automatically assumes that hey this is more lava than before it's uh, kind of an optical illusion but uh, you're seeing uh, the same amounts come out and uh, it is um, just a lot more visible at nighttime um, and yeah my crayons are doing good uh, the other thing is you look at this the cone you see how red it is there um, one of the things about that is about what I was saying earlier if it continues uh, you know if we get major major pushes in here it'll push up against that wall from the inside and then eventually you'll end up getting a crack in it and then eventually you'll see it break out and flow so that that's what's happened here um, that previously happened here but that has already repaired itself so it's going to probably repair this side here and uh, start dumping out elsewhere it's always going to have an exit point though uh, because if that lava is flowing, it needs to be able to flow. Um, okay, S uh, Sherry Lawson says, Hey, Dr. Fox, uh, Bushcraft Bear said that the entire community uh, that the church uh, was in has been buried uh, with an, a new lava stream. Yes, uh, the uh, uh, town of Todoki uh, is completely uh, buried under lava. Uh, we actually uh, covered that at the beginning of the uh, the show today and uh, mentioned that and it is unfortunate uh, Sherry if you haven't looked at the uh, new 3d maps from La Palma uh, just to remind everyone uh, if you haven't brought that up yet okay La Palma uh, I will I will type it in here uh, for you um, La Palma 3d and uh, they now have 12 different maps you can choose from on uh, that particular site uh, once the link comes up there you go so there are 12 different maps and uh, you can have a look at those some comparative uh, others are uh, uh, lava flow maps and so on and uh, it's really quite informative so uh, you can spend uh, easily three or four hours getting lost in all the 3d maps this is something that um, I was trying to go through some of them and of course ran out of time and um, it is uh, very very awesome to be able to see that um, those maps and uh, those were uh, uh, compliments of Allison Williams and uh, uh, really did appreciate uh, that uh, Allison sent that link and uh, really do enjoy uh, having that extra support so uh, and just so you guys know and understand a lot of that things that that you send in um, I try to use as much of it as I can uh, but if somebody sends something in and, and I don't happen to use it don't be offended please um, I may be covering things in a different light or have my mindset elsewhere for the time being and um, we don't always show everything I do get bombarded with uh, quite a bit of material and uh, I do appreciate everybody sending that stuff in so it is um, uh, very very cool uh, let's see 
Uh, Betty says uh, 6.129 kilometers south of uh, Na'ai, Na'iheu, Hawaii, blah, 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 um, 17 point, oh, uh, 17.1 kilometers. This is bad, Dr. Fox. Um, okay, uh, six miles south of that place in Hawaii. Okay, I'm going to have to uh, look at that one. Uh, 6.1 hit Hawaii. Okay. Uh, so, okay, that, that makes sense. Uh, 6.1 uh, magnitude and uh, island of Hawaii. Yeah. Um, that's a pretty big shaker. And I uh, hope, um, hope everybody's faring well over there. And uh, that type of uh, earthquake can do a lot of uh, damage. Okay, apparently six, yeah, just hit Hawaii. So, yeah, that's uh, unfortunate, and I I hope for the best over there. And uh, I'm not sure if um, we can see anything on the, uh, um, I'm going to see if the USGS, uh, if we uh, redo that, if it um, shows anything at the end. Um no, they don't have any new uh, new pictures in at the end that I see. I I was wondering if there was going to be some extra movement uh, that we could see, but uh, no, um, not as of yet. Um, I'm not sure which island it is, Duchess of Elements. Um, I think it might be uh, 24 miles uh, south of Ocean View and the Big Island. There you go. Um, uh, thanks Flo for throwing that in and uh, yeah that's not good guys so yeah we definitely have some some uh, bad stuff going on there anyway we're gonna go around the cameras here uh, we are basically at the end of the show and um, gonna throw uh, this back on and um, we can definitely see the uh, the fire fountain uh, still on a, a slight angle shooting out um, kind of cool seeing that, but we know that uh, the resultant damage is uh, a lot of uh, homes and businesses and uh, plantations being destroyed because of uh, the volcano. And uh, our hearts go out to those people who have lost so much there in La Palma. Um, this, of course, is uh, a view of the lava wall as it's progressing towards the ocean and this is the new lava the stream that is on the northern side of um, of the original flow or that hill that was in between the old uh, volcano. Uh, Doc is uh, behind in the chat. Uh, what chat, it seems? Yeah, I'm behind. I don't know what the heck is going on. Why am I so far behind? And... Um, it uh, it's almost like my latency is uh, is not set anymore. It's supposed to be eight seconds, and uh, I'm wondering if uh, something has changed by accident. Um, so I'm gonna have to take a look and see what uh, what's going on. Actually, I'm gonna take a look at that right now and just just confirm um, where that is. And uh, no, not latency there. And. Uh, because it was uh, not supposed to be uh, that far uh, off. And it uh, doesn't show me latency. Um, I'm wondering if they did something with YouTube again. They, uh, they always seems to seem to do that. Uh, okay, uh, it's not there. Uh, then where the heck did they put it? They hid, the, they hid that. Okay. <laughs> Uh, if I cancel that, go back to stream settings and take a look. And yeah, ultra low latency. That's what I am at. And uh, not sure what uh, it is doing, but um, it's uh, dragging me down. <laughs> uh, my mom is freaking out. Okay, sorry. It really, uh, what dismissal uh, laters, y'all. Okay, uh, Paul, uh, take care. We'll see you later. Uh, banana Monday for me. Oh, oh uh, banana Monday. That's tomorrow for me. <laughs> anyway, 
ladies and gentlemen thank you uh, everyone for being here um just wanted to say hey let's get those uh that like numbers uh, at least over 300 for today uh, that would really really be cool we're two and 297 we only need three more so let's uh hit a few more of those thumbs up for those guys who haven't done that yet uh epi uh welcome and uh thank you for being here you enjoyed it uh, glad uh, you uh were able to pop in here and uh, do your thing and uh take care everyone um oh another uh, 4.1 in hawaii and uh boy that's not good uh henrietta you have yourself a good night as well thank you and uh improve latency and number starlink for <laughs> dr fox yeah starlink isn't going to improve latency um uh starlink has got its pros and cons as well and um one of the thing is is uh upload is not quite as good as it could be uh okay so uh i gotta get that other screen off of there though because it's driving me crazy there we go uh fix that and uh i am going to say um have a great uh day or great evening everyone and uh Please uh, keep those poor people in mind that are losing their homes and their businesses. And uh, as you can see on the stream, uh, stream uh, it is uh, a horrendous fire going on right now as that lava continues to push like a bulldozer right towards the, uh, the sea edge and it will drop down the, uh, the hill. Uh, we will try to be able to capture that when uh, that does happen. Hopefully... Uh, they will have some sort of stream running at that point in time that we can see it. And um, uh, Robert Neal, uh, you're the, the nuts. Great listening and uh, top chat box. Uh, yep. Um, <laughs> hey, I tried to be Robert. Uh, sometimes uh, the nuts go out the left window, though. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> on the that note i'm going to put it back onto our four view and um, hopefully uh, that will be good for everyone and uh, let's uh, like i say keep uh, those poor people in la palma in mind and um, you know do what you need to uh, if you can help support and uh, help them out a little bit that uh, would really be awesome and uh, on that friendly note um, there are other streams you can go to, uh, people streaming. Uh, I don't know if Duchess is streaming right now. Uh, Duchess, are you streaming right now? Uh, just curious question. Uh, talk Air Iceland. Uh, so if we punch in uh, the word talk or uh, exclamation T-O-K, uh, that gives us a link for Talk Air Iceland. The other one is uh, Tony. Um, and uh, that is uh, his link uh, coming up as well. So you have a couple different options uh, to uh, go to and have a look at uh, some of the other uh, streams. And uh, I, they don't have narration. Uh, and uh, Duchess of Elements is going to be setting up. So, uh, and if you uh, punch in uh, Duchess of Elements into your YouTube search, that comes up fairly easily and uh, you can just go to her live stream um i don't know if she's uh, got it up and running yet um we'll see if i can uh, find that real quick um of course it doesn't come up when you want it to <laughs> uh so oh, okay well uh, she's the first one in the the chat there okay so um yeah uh, anyway, I will put her channel in here and uh, you guys can always go over there and uh, I'll wait for her to uh, set up uh, Duchess of Elements and uh, this is her uh, channels uh, her channel so you can always have a look there and uh, go anyway um we're gonna keep uh, apprised of what goes on tomorrow of course is a holiday here in edmonton alberta uh in canada all of canada uh, we have our thanksgiving day 
and uh, I know it's a lot earlier than the United States but uh, we do uh, have that happening so tomorrow I may start the stream a little earlier I do have a lot of things I need to get done tomorrow though so uh, keep your fingers crossed that no work calls come through and uh, that we can provide you guys with a, a decent stream maybe an hour earlier than uh, normal so instead of being 5 p.m. it'll be at 4 p.m. which equates to 6 Eastern or um, and 4 is uh, I believe uh, add 6 to that uh, 20 uh, 2200 rather than 2300 UTC so that may help out anyway uh, take care everyone all the best and um, hopefully uh, everybody enjoyed the stream today again if you haven't hit that like button yet consider hitting it and as I get out the door here I'm going to do my uh, normal farewell please tell your loved ones you love them tonight for tomorrow is never promised I'm your host Dr. Fox 2000 and we'll see you tomorrow good night everyone and thank you Buenas noches. Good night. Bonsoir. Good night. <laughs>